22, let's talk now to the Dutchman who's trying to legally change his age from 69 to 49 yep. with the aim of, well, you can tell us what the aim is in a moment, actually, a meal rattle band, a motivational speaker attempting to move his birthday from the 11th of March, 1949 to, to the 11th of March, 1969. You can change your name, you can change your gender. You, why not your age, he says. Nowhere are you so discriminated against as with your age. That's what he said to a Dutch newspaper. Uh, he's here, as you can see, uh, alongside writer Jane Fay, who doesn't agree that self-identifying your gender is the same as self-identifying your age. Uh, good morning, both of you. Uh, first of all, is this simply a publicity stunt, or are you no, serious? No, of course not. It's honestly a, a, a really scary. I'm, uh, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm a guy that uh, always goes to the front and is an example. For example, 35 years ago, I went to my dentist to get my amalgam fillings out of my mouth. And I had to visit five dentists before they did. Okay, let's talk about that. Okay. What's the problem for you with being 69? It's a problem. Okay, uh, my, my, my doctor says I'm a biological age is uh, 40, 42. And uh, so he has that put it on paper. I said, okay, why I'm not then, why I'm not that age? So I want to be uh, that age, 49. I said, okay, I want it for 49. Well, what, 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 what is it that you can't do at 69 that you think you'd be able uh, to do example, at 49? Uh, for example, uh, uh, we have a high unemployment in Holland. And all those people who are unemployed are above 55. So when you're 55, you are not able to get a job. For example, when I want but to... But you're not unemployed. No, 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 of course not. But if I... Uh, if so I that's not buy, a reason. If I want to buy a house, I don't get a mortgage, mortgage anymore. Uh, but in my job, you know... The have you got a mortgage now, though? I have a mortgage, but if I want to change my house, I want to have new and mortgage. It's impossible because I'm too old. So, but in my job, what I'm doing, most people ask me always, yeah, but you're almost 70, how can you do that? Do you speak the language from people who are 25? Do you really understand the problems nowadays? Because you're an old man. I said, no, I'm not old man, I'm a wise man. But I always have to, uh, to defend myself. Uh, and, and sometimes I have to lie about my age, and I don't want that. So I want a legalization. Why do you have to lie about your age? No, because people say, ah, you, you are not believe, or they say, if you if you go to some people, they say, okay, you you will tell that you are younger because you look more uh, more younger than you are, and so then you have to, uh, to to lie to them. So I don't want to do that. I want to have legalization. It's my feeling, and so this it, it is. Won't, it uh, won't, I mean, you won't get an extra twenty years of life. You, you, you uh, know. Well, that, no, no, that's not true because there was an examination about uh, in uh, two thousand ten over here in England, and they put old people in a new environment with with young people and they saw that their uh, age was, uh, they, they became younger, yeah, health, you've, healthy. You've got seven children with twins on the way, yeah, so okay. you're surrounded by young people. Yeah, but I'm surrounded, but I want to have a legalization. So that's, uh, that's my feeling and I want to respect that you respect my feeling. Sure. And, and, so, and if you respect my feeling, I want to go to court and I say, okay, I want a legalization. You have compared this to trans people who legally change their gender. Yeah. Why? I, I did what? You have compared this to trans yeah, people course, who legally change their gender. Because nowadays, it's like it's, we have the free will. In the past, it was always like this. We have to do what the state or the church or our parents told us. Now we can uh, go traveling wherever we want, and we can change our names if we want, and we can change also our gender if we want. So why, that, why I cannot change my age then? Jane Faye, does he have a point? I, well, I'm actually quite flabbergasted. I, I started out on this thinking I was going to be sympathetic. I'm less sympathetic the more I hear about it because I thought I thought we were talking about discrimination here. And age discrimination. Age discrimination. Mm. I thought, well, perhaps in Holland uh, you, you have less robust laws, but you have a job. Um, a mortgage company is not interested in your age. A mortgage company is interested in how many years you're... It's interested in how many years you like to be alive. And it doesn't matter what age it says. Mm. Number well, so, tell, so, so tell Emil what you think about the, his uh, comparison. The other, I mean, it's just... Uh, I, I don't know. There's a lot of places where people fit the whole... Uh, I think you mentioned Tinder. I mean, I thought everybody fibbed on Tinder. Um, I know I did. Um, but quite seriously, this is going, it's like something else. I do not do that. There is discrimination against trans people. I do not go, it's like discrimination. For Jewish people, it's like discrimination. For black people and so on, no, there is an issue to be sorted out when it comes to transgender. It's yeah. not just an identity. It is a medical medical condition that has been understood for 50 it's years. Same. It's the same. It's the same. My doctor says I have a biological age no, 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 for no, 42. No, no. no I, respect, I respect your meaning, but then you have to tell, also listen to my meaning. And so that's a beautiful thing about the, when we live now in 2018, 
that, uh, that you can say whatever I like, I can say whatever I like, I can do whatever I like, but you can do whatever I like. There's a recognised condition of gender dysphoria, is recognized there isn't a recognised condition of age dysphoria. No, but, but it's like, uh, this discussion is not in Holland, we accept uh, gender, uh, we have no gender discrimination at all. So we have now the first people in Holland who have X in their uh, passport, instead of man or woman. So we don't have that discussion anymore, because we are very... Uh, 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 hanging, uh, walking uh, before everybody in Holland. This comes back again and again to your trying to say that it's a choice. It's not a choice. You're talking about something which is physiological. It is well recognised that some people would love to retire. Okay. Some people would love to retire early. Some people don't. I went to the shrink before, and he said, "Okay, perhaps you suffer on the complex, the Peter Pan complex." So I was lying on the couch, and he was examining me. And then he said, "No, you are not. Uh, you have not a Peter Pan complex." A Peter Pan complex means if you're getting old, that you cannot accept that you're getting older. So then he said, okay, perhaps you have another complex that you are, are you aware what you what you're going to, what you, what's what's going to happen to you? And so then he examined me again, and he said, no, you're, you're fully aware of what you're doing. So it's my feeling, it's your feeling. When you are a man, you have the feeling I want to be a woman, or I am a woman. It's okay, and I have the feeling. I want to be younger. It's my feeling. I respect you. You respect me. Okay, and, we don't have to, and we don't have to go to, into this discussion, because it's your feeling, and uh, you, no, you, you don't. No. no, you don't say no. no. It's your feeling. It's my feeling. So I want you to respect me. And if you don't respect it's me, then you discriminate me. It is not purely about a feeling. It is about a sense of identity that persists. That research is suggesting has strong biological roots. That people are transgender. It's something that got decades of understanding and background to it and what you are actually doing is trying to make a comparison that is really quite tasteless. I'm not agree. I'm not agree it's tasteless it. because it's if, causing okay. then it's we causing harm to people. Let her finish the sentence. Yeah, okay, so okay, let her finish the okay, sentence. Okay. You are causing harm, you are causing grief. You do not need to go down this route in order to try and get some sort of So you talk only about your feelings. But if you look in the future the people get more older, the people get more better. And still, if you have this this uh, this uh, stand from age, you know, we have to stop uh, working when we're 67. We cannot uh, increase our quality of life because we're getting older, we're getting in an elderly home. So what I say is nowadays, 12% of the people are older than 60, 60 years. And today, in 20 years, more than 35% of the people will become more okay. elder than, 30, than 65. So, so that means if, if we have a different stamp on them, not the biological, we take the biological stamp instead of the, the physical stamp about the age of that you really are, and then you have a, a different opportunity. It's it's completely it's a, it has to do with beliefs. When it does has it, to do with, with, with when feelings. Does the, when does the court? I mean, you've, you've presented your arguments to the court. I, when do I they decide? The court. When do they decide? In four weeks, they decide. Okay, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jane. Thank, Thank you, you very much, much Emil. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Susan says, does a man that wishes to change his age legally receive his?